The hunter's quarry is not wild turkey, but something of much greater value. Green shoots from the topmost branches of a tree quite different from nearby trees. An American business and an American university are working together to confront a problem which is becoming more serious throughout the world, the shortage of forest products. We're in the Southlands Experimental Forest in southwestern Georgia. It is a 17,000 acre forest run by the International Paper Company in cooperation with North Carolina State University. Here a tree has been found, which is taller, straighter, freer of side branches, resistant to disease, faster growing. It is known as a super tree. But is it a super tree because of some accident of nature, better soil or more rain? Or is it what scientists are really looking for, a tree which is genetically better? able to pass on its superior characteristics to new generations. Scientists here are engaged in a program to increase the yield of forest products by improving the breed of trees. Although the improvement of plant and animal species always takes place in the process of natural selection, the trick is to get nature to perform where the results can be observed and to speed up the results. For this reason, the green tips of the forest super trees are grafted onto young nursery grown saplings. The saplings will be ready to produce seed in a few years and the new seed will have the genetic characteristics of the forest super tree. These are pine seedlings, grown from the new seeds. Some of these will be used in experiments. 26. Others will be allowed to mature and produce seed to repopulate the forest with superior trees. Although the program has only been in effect for a short time, the genetic improvements alone have already resulted in an increased yield of about 20%. 23. 3-8 by 11 20. Nineteen. Forest products have never been more important to the world than they are today. Lumber for building material, pulp for the manufacture of paper, firewood for heating and cooking. A shortage of forest products affects people almost as gravely as a shortage of food. Tree improvement must follow the same process employed in the dramatic increase in yields of wheat, rice, and other grains during the Green Revolution. Forestry, genetics, and long, tedious hours of hard work, the expertise of the university, and the resources of industry are all vital to the success of the Green Tree Revolution. Diseases and blights damage millions of trees annually. Scientists have been able to identify which varieties of trees developed in the tree improvement program will be most disease resistant. As a result, the forests will be repopulated with trees which not only yield more usable lumber and pulp, but fight off destructive diseases. One stem gall, one branch gall. And then the last one, no galls. And beginning the next family, S2. Hmm. Four stem galls and two branch galls. What is the object of all this? Men used to think that there would always be trees for the cutting. Now we know better. 
while the Earth's forests steadily dwindle, the demand for forest products grows just as steadily. The approach we have seen combines intelligent management of our woodlands resources with conservation to ensure a supply of vitally needed materials for the benefit of man and our green planet.